in this video let us learn about testing of bricks around 50 bricks units are taken randomly from a lot to perform various tests firstly we shall talk a little about dimension test you can see how the bricks are arranged one after another in the figure this is also called as tolerance test i will show you another figure in this test what happens is uh, 20 pieces are taken out from a stack and laid down flat like this now cumulative dimensions are measured for example the standard brick size is 19 centimeter by 19 centi 9 by 9 centimeters this is without motor now all the bricks are placed one after another 20 bricks are placed longitudinally and the overall length is measured and it is compared with the theoretical length that is 19 multiplied by 20 because every brick uh, measures 19 centimeter length and that is multiplied with 20 bricks so that is 380 centimeter 380 centimeter so we have to cross check uh, with the length that the theoretical length depending on the class of the brick the tolerance limit will be decided so this is also called as tolerance test how much uh, deviation is tolerated from particular class of the brick so we have to check whether it is is there any deviation and how much uh, deviation is allowed that is known as tolerance in the similar way as the length cumulative width cumulative height will also be measured so you can see the frog here so this is length direction this is width and this is height so according to the frag placement you can uh, you can see how the bricks are placed i have also mentioned a youtube link here so uh, after sharing i will um, uh, provide the notes in the description you can download the notes and see the link access the link that is all about dimension test now let us see the second one water absorption test so this is according to indian standard code 3495 part 2 part 2 so in general all the bricks will absorb some water by capillary action when immersed in water you can see here uh, the water uh, i mean the bricks are immersed in water this is due to pores present in the brick after burning as the little organic matter in the bricks com burns completely and leave pores over there the percentage of water absorption is very valuable indication of degree of burning because uh, for example it has been reported uh, that the absorption is less than 5% the effect of frost is negligible i will tell you water absorption how to calculate before that listen to me the water absorbed by the brick from the rain when it is actually used in masonry that will be stored in pores at the te as the temperature goes down what happens is water retained in the pores will be frozen and it may create cracks the obvious reason is that the water is frozen uh, water in frozen state will have more volume compared to in liquid state okay let us come to procedure of the test dry bricks are put in uh, put into the oven at the temperature 105 to 115 degrees temperature till it attains constant mass now the weight is recorded initially after cooling to room temperature so the weight is initially w1 now the bricks are immersed in the water at the temperature around 27 to 29 degrees that is at the room temperature for 24 hours when the wet bricks are taken out of the water they will be wiped off with a damp cloth three minutes later the weight is measured as w2 and now the water absorption test is measured like this a water absorption percentage is measured like this w2 minus w1 by w1 into 100 that is weight of the wet brick minus weight of the dry brick divided by weight of the dry brick multiplied by 100 that gives the water absorption percentage the average water absorption shall not be more than 20 percent by the weight up to class um, uh, class a for, uh, and 12 to 15 percent by the weight of higher class bricks sorry 20 percent is for b class bricks and 12 to 15 percent by weight for higher class bricks and we have another method for water absorption test that is absorption through five hours boiling so in this what happens is the brick is immersed in water 
and boiled for 5 hours. Later it will be cooled down to room temperature by uh, waiting it to be cooled naturally by 16 to 19 hours. This specimen is taken out and wiped with a damp cloth and the weight is recorded as W3. So in order not to confuse I am putting the weight uh, as W3. You can follow this test or the boiling test. Whatever uh, you can follow is that that is your wish. W3 minus W1 by W1 into 100 that gives actual water sorry that gives the absorption percentage of the drink. So that is all about water absorption test. I have also mentioned a YouTube link here. So that will uh, show you how the experiment will be done. You can see that later from the notes. You can access the link from the notes. So let us come to third test. Compressive strength test. This is uh, mainly to test the crushing strength of the brick by taking as a part in the masonry wall. That means with the masonry. I mean motor. In this test, six bricks are taken from the com uh, compressive test. Six bricks. Uh, then what happens is the two bed faces of the brick are smoothened above and below. So you can see the brick. So above part and below part will be smoothened. The bricks are then immersed in water at the room temperature for 24 hours again. And these are taken out of water and wiped off with a moist cotton cloth. The frog of the brick. This frog of the brick. Okay. This will be completely covered with the cement paste. And it will be stored under the jute bags again for 24 hours for proper setting of this motor what you have placed in the frog. Now the specimen is placed in the compression testing machine. This is what the compression uh, testing machine what I have shown. Um, so above and below generally the plywood plates are put in order, for, in order to get the load distributed properly uniformly uh, along the length. Now the maximum uh, load at which the failure occurs will be noted. And the compressive strength is uh, generally the load at failure by area of the section where the load being applied. So that will give you uh, the compressive strength test and we are taking load in newtons and area in meter mm. So compressive strength will get in newton per mm square. Area is mm square sorry. Now uh, as we are taking six bricks the average of uh, six samples will be reported and the average of all will be considered as a compressive strength for the related brick class. That is all about compressive strength test. Now uh, I have also mentioned uh, the YouTube link for this test also. You can see that later. Now warpage test, fourth one. That is again according to Indian standard test 3495 part 4. Okay, warpage is a parameter that measured with the help of flat steel or glass surface and measuring the ruler graduated from 0 0.5. So this is from 0 0.5. Uh, divisions from the, uh, from the steel. We generally take the test for uh, 10 bricks randomly from the brick lot. What happens is, so let me let me draw it here. So this is an inclined surface uh, with all the ruler and with the dimensions here. Now the flat surface of brick is placed. So sometimes it is not exactly uh, matching or in contact uh, properly with this inclined surface what happens is sometimes the brick may be like this so I'm exaggerating here but you can see a little here in order to un uh, your understanding I have drawn like this now you can see the gap you have to measure the gap so this is called concave concave warpage warpage is nothing but misshape shaping out so let me show you and the same brick will be placed a reverse so how it will appear is like this that is convex this gap is also measured maximum gap and now how the wire page is reported is the greater value of the gap between this convex gap and concave gap is measured and the greater one is reported as the wire page so this is also very important because because during burning it may happen the wire page may take place due to some constitu constituents so that is all about uh, war paste test. I have not mentioned any video for this. So let us come to the last test, efflorescence test. Uh, this is 
actually easy then what happens is uh, the brick is placed in 50 uh, in 150 mm diameter porcelain dish containing 20 mm depth of the water at room temperature uh, so i have mentioned a representational image here you can see the brick is placed in water up to 25 mm depth so however um, whatever the base uh, container is there should uh, so you just ignore that 25 mm depth up to 25 mm depth it is immersed placed in it at the room temperature again and we have to leave it uh, till the water is completely absorbed by this brick so the same will be repeated the same will be repeated again and it has to be dried off later now you can see some patches on the brick so the report will be like this so it will be nil that means efflorescence is not there zero when the deposit of efflorescence is imperceptible that means there are no patches visible then you can see there is no efflorescence on the brick if it is uh, if it will be slight when the deposit of the efflorescence does not cover more than 10 percent of the water uh, the exposed area of the sorry 10 percent of the exposed area of the brick so some you can see some patches here and there very less so you can say slight and it will be moderate when the deposit of efflorescence is more than 10 percent but less than 50 percent of the exposed area of brick you can see up to here heavy uh, heavy efflorescence when the uh, deposit of efflorescence is more than 50 percent but deposits do not powder or flake away the brick surface you are having the lot more patches and these are not like looking like flakes it will be serious when uh, the deposits are heavy and powder or flake away from the brick surface so it will be flaking away from the brick surface so you have to measure like that uh, that is all about a fluorescence test let us summarize what we have discussed so we are talking uh, we have talked about testing on bricks so initially we have uh, seen the dimension test so you, you can see how the dimensions are measured along the length width and height so i have mentioned the youtube video link below you can watch it uh, downloading the notes below another test is water absorption test so you can see how the bricks are immersed in water and later will be dried uh, the test procedure you can see uh, the mentioned youtube link and we have talked about compressive strength test in order to measure the compressive strength of the brick uh, another one is warpage test and you can you have to check how uh, the misshape of the brick is so i have not mentioned any youtube link for that and the last one is a fluorescence test and you can see the, how the patches are there and again you can uh, use a youtube video uh, link in order to see the how the test will be performed so that is all about testing of bricks thanks for watching